to my hair curling. My hair curling. Let me do that again. Hi everyone and thanks for checking out today's video. Today I'm doing a hair tutorial for this messy, beachy, wavy look. If you like this look, please stay tuned to see how to achieve it. Okay, so my curling iron broke a couple weeks ago, so I got this new one. Um, it is GHD Soft Curl um, Curve Iron. It is an inch and a quarter barrel. Looks like this. It heats up in 25 seconds, so that's amazing because you don't have to stand around waiting for it to heat up. And this is generally what I do to achieve this look. However, let me just state the obvious. I am not a hairstylist. I am just a girl in her office doing her hair. So there are definitely better tutorials out there. There's nothing groundbreaking in this video, but if you are new to doing your hair, not quite sure where to begin, basically if I can do it, you can definitely do it. Um, so this is for somebody who's kind of new to doing your hair and you just need to know that there are definitely better tutorials out there. I am using some dry shampoo. This is by Dry Bar. And I am also using um, just some regular old hairspray. Okay, I'm using this um, Bumble and Bumble UV heat protectant primer for the hair as well. But you can use whatever you have if you have something similar, if you have a more natural version. I am trying to get into more natural products, however, I know these are conventional. Um, but many of them do not contain phylates and sulfates and all those nasty things. The second thing I want to talk about is my, tech my technique as if I really have one. I use a little scrunchie. This one is from Sweaty Betty. It doesn't create um, kinks in your hair, so that's why I like it. And I put up the first two thirds, and then you'll see me, I'll do the bottom row, and then I'll bring down that second third, do all that, and then I'll bring the one down by my face. When I take a piece of hair, I'm taking a piece about an inch thick or so, like this, and then I start, this is off right now, by the way, I start, probably um, just under halfway up the shaft of the hair and then curl towards and hold for five to 10 seconds and then take it out. I just prefer how that looks. It's kind of a messier, more undone look. Um, that's my technique, if you will. <laughs> and the way that you curl. So you, I do away from my face and then the next strand will be going in the other direction, so towards the face. And that just gives a much more natural look. And that's what I do throughout the whole thing with the exception of the very top. At the top, everybody says to do different ways, um, away from your face, towards your face, away from your face, towards your face, but when it comes to the very top, I like to do the first three sections of this side away from my face. I just feel it looks better on me, it holds my hair kind of back and it looks a little bit more natural to me. Um, and then I do this part away from my face, and then I go to that um, towards the face, away from the face, towards the face technique. So there you have it, and now here is the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on, makes a little noise, and it takes literally 25 seconds to heat up. Okay, so the first thing I do is take my hair down. I've slept in it, so as you can see, it looks a hot mess. Then I'm gonna take the UV protectant and spray it along the ends of my hair and where my hair is kind of dyed blonde. And from there, I'm gonna finger comb through it just to evenly distribute. From here, I'm gonna to begin to part my hair so I can get towards the root and get just a little bit of spritz of that dry shampoo deep within the roots. From here, I kind of zhuzh it with my hands just to get it all in there. And then I'll comb through my hair just to untangle and work that dry shampoo further into the hair. Now I'm going to put the two thirds of my hair up onto my head so that that bottom third is easily accessible. Then I'll take my first inch of hair and bring it away from my face, hold it for a couple secs, and let it go. Then we're gonna to go towards the face, hold it for a couple seconds, let it go. 
and repeat all the way around. Once I'm done with the bottom layer, I'm gonna take my hairspray and just give it a little spritz throughout to help hold the curl. Then I'll take my hair down and put that top one third part back up so the second part is nice and hanging and easy, easily accessible. Then I'll begin by bringing the wand away from my face and towards my face and repeat throughout the entire section. Once that whole section is done, I'll take the top part of my hair down, find the um, natural part, and then begin. I like to start at the piece that's right at my face and curl away from my face. And then like I told you in the introduction, I take the next few pieces and also go away from my face. A lot of people say to go towards the face after the first one, but I like the first three pieces to go away from my face. I just feel like it falls better. After I do those first three pieces, then I go towards my face and away from the face and repeat all the way around. Once the hair is completely curled, I will turn off the curling iron and then go through it with a little bit of hairspray. Now here's the quote unquote technique I use to get it messy and more full. I will kind of zhuzh it with my hands and then I will take a comb and just back comb it at the crown of the head and then any little place where it feels like it needs a bit more volume or is lying a little too flat for my liking. After that I just kind of zhuzh it with my hands and I'm good to go. So that's the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I will see you soon with more content on the YBC channel.